Welcome back to Superfoods to Supercharge. Today we're going to talk about some foods that can interact with your medications. It's a fascinating truth that our food choices can influence the way our medications work, sometimes even affecting their effectiveness. We're going to delve into eight everyday foods, from the morning coffee you love, to the leafy greens you're encouraged to eat, that might actually be interacting with your medication. So, join us on this enlightening journey of discovery. Let's dive into these everyday foods that might be affecting your medication, starting with number 8. Our number 8 is a morning favorite for many, caffeine. Now, who doesn't love a good cup of joe to start their day? But if you're on levothyroxine, a medication commonly used to treat thyroid conditions, your morning brew might be doing more harm than good. You see, caffeine can interfere with the absorption of levothyroxine, making the medication less effective. It's kind of like waking up, drinking a cup of coffee to get going but then feeling even more tired. Not exactly what you were hoping for, right? This interaction can lead to fluctuating thyroid hormone levels, which is not ideal for those trying to manage a thyroid condition. So, if you're on levothyroxine, it might be a good idea to limit your caffeine intake. Maybe swap out that second cup of coffee for a glass of water, or a caffeine-free herbal tea. Small adjustments can make a big difference in how your medication works for you. Moving on to number 7. Fiber Supplements. Picture a bustling highway, the lanes filled with cars moving at a steady pace. Now, imagine a sudden roadblock popping up, causing a slowdown, and even a complete halt. This is a useful analogy to understand how fiber supplements like psyllium or methyl cellulose interact with certain medications. They act as roadblocks, reducing the absorption and thus, the effectiveness of medications like levothyroxine, a thyroid medication, and fluoroquinolone antibiotics, such as ciprofloxacin. Just like how you would plan your route to avoid roadblocks, it's crucial to plan when you take these medications in relation to fiber supplements. For instance, it's advised to take levothyroxine at least 30 minutes before consuming fiber supplements. On the other hand, fluoroquinolone antibiotics should be taken a few hours before or after consuming fiber supplements. Remember, timing is key when taking these medications with fiber supplements. Now let's talk about number 6, tyramine-rich foods. Picture this, a pressure cooker. It's a handy tool in any kitchen, but if not handled properly, it can become a hazard. The same goes for the interaction between tyramine-rich foods and monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs. Tyramine is a compound found in aged cheeses and cured meats. When combined with MAOIs, medications like phenylzine or tranylcypramine, it's like turning up the heat under that pressure cooker. This interaction can lead to a dangerous increase in blood pressure resulting in what's known as a hypertensive crisis. Think of your blood vessels as the safety valve on that pressure cooker. When the pressure gets too high, the consequences can be severe. It's like having a ticking time bomb in your body. So, if you're taking MAOIs, it's crucial to monitor your intake of tyramine-rich foods. Stay safe and keep your pressure cooker from reaching a dangerous boiling point. At number 5 we have a sweet treat, licorice. Now who doesn't love a piece of this black or red chewy delight? But if you're on certain medications, licorice can be a bit like adding fuel to a fire. Let's break it down. If you're taking digoxin, a common medication for heart conditions, licorice can increase the risk of toxicity. It's a bit like throwing gas on a fire, things can quickly get out of hand. Now if you're on spironolactone, a blood pressure drug, licorice can add to its effect on potassium levels, potentially leading to a condition called hyperkalemia. It's like adding more weight to an already heavy load. And if you're on hydrochlorothiazide, another blood pressure medication, licorice can reduce its effectiveness like pouring water on a fire. So the next time you reach for that licorice stick remember, enjoy your licorice but be mindful if you're on these medications. Our number 4 is a seafood favorite, fatty fish. These aquatic delights, rich in omega-3 fatty acids, are praised for their heart-healthy benefits. But did you know they can interact with some medications? Let's imagine this interaction as a seesaw. On one side we have fatty fish, and on the other, we have blood thinners like warfarin. When consumed together it's like adding extra weight to the fish side of the seesaw, which can increase the risk of bleeding. Now let's add a third player to our seesaw, lithium, a psychiatric medication. Lithium and fatty fish together can cause the seesaw to tilt even further, potentially leading to increased levels of lithium in the blood. This can cause side effects such as tremors, excessive thirst and motor coordination problems. It's a delicate balancing act, isn't it? Remember, moderation is key when consuming fatty fish if you're on these medications. Coming in at number 3, dairy products. 
dairy in all its delicious forms can act much like a sponge when it comes to tetracycline antibiotics. Now picture yourself wringing out a soaked sponge, the water that's being squeezed out? That's akin to the reduced absorption of tetracycline when you ingest dairy products. Milk, cheese, yogurt, you name it. They all contain calcium, which tetracyclines have a particular affinity for. The result? A complex is formed that your body struggles to absorb. This can lead to a significant decrease in the effectiveness of the antibiotic, making it harder for your body to fight off infection. Just as you wouldn't want a sponge to soak up the water you're drinking, you wouldn't want your dairy products to soak up your tetracycline antibiotics. So if you're on tetracycline antibiotics, it might be best to limit your dairy intake. At number two, we have high vitamin K foods. Now imagine a tug of war match where one side is your leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables, and the other side is warfarin, a blood thinner. You see, vitamin K is essential for the blood clotting process. But warfarin's job is to slow down this process, to prevent dangerous clots from forming. So when you consume foods high in vitamin K like spinach, kale, broccoli and Brussels sprouts, you're essentially tipping the balance in favor of clotting. This may interfere with the effectiveness of warfarin, potentially rendering it less effective. You don't have to entirely avoid these nutritious greens. But it's crucial to maintain a consistent intake of vitamin K. Having a sudden spike or drop in your consumption can disrupt your treatment. So if you're on warfarin, be aware of your vitamin K intake. It's like monitoring the ropes in a tug of war, keeping the match fair and balanced. Finally, at number one, we have the grapefruit. Now grapefruit is not just a zesty start to your day. It can also play a pivotal role in how your body reacts to certain medications. You could say it's the wild card in the deck of your daily diet. For instance, consider statins, the medications commonly prescribed to lower cholesterol levels. One of these is atorvastatin. Now, when grapefruit enters the scene, it can inhibit the enzyme that's responsible for metabolizing this medication in the liver. This interaction can lead to higher levels of atorvastatin in the bloodstream. And what does that mean? An increased risk of side effects, including muscle pain or weakness. So, if you're on atorvastatin, it might be a good idea to give the grapefruit a miss, unless your healthcare professional says otherwise. But the grapefruit's reach doesn't stop there. It can also interact with certain blood pressure medications, such as felodipine and nifedipine. This interaction can potentially increase these medications' concentration in the bloodstream, affecting their effectiveness, and potentially causing side effects. So, if you've been prescribed these medications, you might want to rethink that grapefruit for breakfast, or that glass of grapefruit juice. It's almost like the grapefruit has a personal vendetta against your medications, isn't it? But let's not demonize the grapefruit. It's not its fault. It's just packed with certain compounds that interfere with the enzymes your body uses to break down these medications. It doesn't mean you can never enjoy a grapefruit again. It just means you need to be aware of these interactions and talk to your healthcare provider about it. In the grand scheme of things, it's all about balance. It's about understanding how the foods we eat interact with the medications we take. So as delicious as grapefruit is, it's essential to be cautious if you're on these medications. And there we have it, our list of eight everyday foods that can interact with your medications. From caffeine's effect on levothyroxine to grapefruit's unexpected interactions with certain medications, it's clear that what we eat can significantly impact the effectiveness of our medication. Let's not overlook the influence of dairy, fatty fish, licorice, and even fiber supplements. Awareness is crucial in maintaining optimal health. Share this video with others who could benefit from this information. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to our health. Thanks for watching.